Hi there and welcome to Rusty Audio. I'm sitting here and going through uh, Craigslist and I found this estate sale that starts today. It started at 8 o'clock this morning so I'm two hours late but I've been trying to look at the pictures and there is some old stuff here and I'm going to take a look and see what I can find. This piece right here caught my eyes. Um, so hopefully there is some more uh, stuff that I'm into. Um, I'm gonna go over there. There's about um, it's not too far. I think probably 15, 20 minutes drive away from my house. Um, it's in a little bit weird neighborhood because you have a big college over there and um, it kind of borderlines to a bad neighborhood. But we're gonna go and try and take a chance and see what we can find. Um, because there is some some pictures here that tells me that this dude is into a lot of old um, stuff so maybe just maybe he also has some um, vintage audio equipment laying around that he wants to get rid of so we'll go and take a look so I'll um, get back to you later Okay, so we're coming up on the location of the estate sale, and there's plenty of people here already. Hopefully I can find a place to park. Uh, this crazy neighborhood. Well, that one is leaving. Where, what house is it? Let me see, I'm going to try and drive by and see. Oh, I see some people that I know are here already. Ben is here. And B Bose is here. <laughs> Okay, I'll talk to you later. Well, I just finished up walking through that um, sale, estate, estate sale. They had a lot of stuff, but not what I was looking for. I found some records. Shirley Bassey, Journey, and Fleetwood Mac. So I got them. It was 50 cents a piece. They are in good condition inside, the record himself. Journey has a little bit of problem here on the edge, but it is okay for 50 cents i'm okay with it so that was my score <coughs> three records for 75 cents <coughs> no sorry dollar fifty so I've, i saw some people that i know that was here that was buying antiques so they were happy there was a lot of antiques here but not the type of antique that i would deal with and that Victrola that I saw it was a nice Victrola it was a nice model but uh, it had a lot of damage uh, scuffs marks uh, wood that had been knocked big chunks that was off so it would have taken a lot of wood repair cabinet repair um, not just a regular cleaning down or some staining here and there you would replace or fill in big big chunks so i did i did i did pass on it they wanted 75 bucks and i think that was a little bit too high for the condition because you don't know how the mechanics are on it so and it was missing knobs and you could know that all the doors were locked and i didn't have the key so you probably have to pry open the doors and the drawers and that's going to create more damage so it's basically a parts piece so i passed on it um, they were not even willing to take a best offer on it so um, that's it i got three records for a dollar fifty and i'm heading on home 